We always want the shinier thing. We always want the better car. We always want the bigger house. And that's just something that might seem like a curse, but that's just a gift. <laughs> like, you know, you could settle, you could be frugal or modest, or you could live life while you're on this earth, man. Like, splurge, but put yourself in a position to splurge. You know, don't splurge if you don't got the means to do it. I see that often. You ain't got more than 100 grand in the bank but you got a fat gold chain like you're a rapper and shit. my goal is to help you get past that you know i used to be there you know so i could relate to you on that and you know check the check and giving off the image like you're balling but what you'll learn when you get older is it's not about that you know what i mean like it's not it's not about what other people feel it's about how you feel it's about your security you see what i'm saying because when you turn off your phone or when you go home and you go to bed and you see your family, you're married, you see your spouse, you see your kids. The true sign of whether or not you're living right is if you are good, right? Regardless of the industry, regardless of the job, regardless of the paycheck. Don't put yourself in a position where you're living check to check, right? And unfortunately, a lot of you probably did because you got a surge of cash. You know, you went from making three grand to 30 grand a month. And you're like, oh, sh oh, sh party time man like i'm gonna go spend it up because life is good but what happens is when the market changes you're like oh sh my 30 grand went back to three grand you know what i mean and next thing you know you got this expensive ass card you're like man <laughs> i can't even buy lunch you know what i mean like today i'm eating cup of noodles but i got a fancy ass ride don't put yourself in that position what you got to do is you got to set yourself up meaning that sales is an up and down sport right you're gonna win and you're gonna dip right but the key is though is when that time comes and when you dip did you set yourself up with enough reserves where you're not even sweating it right because my biggest rule is that you always have to be in a place of confidence and that's where your morning routine comes in that's where you know your mindset comes in that's where your production comes in you got to have all this in order you know, don't go and do something because maybe a top producer of your company did it. Let that dude do him, right? Like, he got the $1.5 million crib, and you're looking at yourself like, I got this condo. Don't fucking worry, man. Fly your condo, pimping. Be happy in your condo, right? Because that's you. As long as you're good and you are on the path to do bigger and better things, then, then you're straight. <laughs>